you drive. You gotta go left. Here we go, guys. Come on, all the way. You got it, you got it. Yeah, Michael, good one. You know, if, if I don't want to talk to you and you ask me what I do, I say I'm a driver's ed instructor. I teach people to drive. If I want to explain to you what we do, it, it takes a while. Hey, where are you going? The road's over there. The road's over there. Where are you going? That way? Go that way. You know, the short version is I did do fairly well in the corporate world, but you know, got tired at the end of the day. I, I really didn't care about profit margins. So I decided to step out uh, just in my spare time and take horseback riding lessons. And the first day I did that, I watched a team of people working with a disabled child on a horse. And I said, I love this. I want to be involved. And did that for about eight years and loved it, became very good at it. And a family brought me a 22-year-old man. His name was David. And uh, entirely uh, non-verbal, non-cognitive, um, couldn't move a, a bone in his body. And they were going on telling me how he has seizures and he has a shunt and he has all of these reasons I can't put him up there. And so I'm listening and I know what I have to do. And of course, that's what I did. I said, I'm sorry, I can't work with your son. And um, they said, Rocky, we, we know what you do with these other kids. Is there anything you can do for him? And I happen to have a little go-kart in the corner for my typically developmental daughters, just a little toy. And I'm looking at this the thing and it's low to the ground and it has a padded roll cage and has four point harnesses. And I'm thinking, if I was going to have a seizure, that's where I'd want to be strapped in that thing right there. And you're not going to get hurt. And so I asked the parents, I said, can I try something? And they said, sure, Rock, anything. And so we took this young man out of his wheelchair and, and put him down in the cart and I strapped him in real good. And I took off down the horse trail and he just started screaming. And I thought, oh my, I just scared the living daylights out of this kid, you know? So I whipped him back around and took him to mom and dad and mom's just bawling like a baby. And, and dad's trying to hold it together. And I said, is everything okay? And they said, that's his happy sound. They said he's only made that twice in his life. And, and that's what started it. And so as I realized, wow, this is so much more than a joy ride. How can I really start to maximize the benefit of this? What can I do to the vehicles? What kind of activities can I create that really maximize what I can gain from this? And that's kind of where it started from there. I told my wife seven years ago, I was like, I'm gonna have a fleet of these things one day. You ready to drive? <laughs> oh boy, uh oh, here we go. You said drive, somebody said drive. <laughs> but what are we trying to achieve from this? Well, Michael, being a 15 year old young man who's relatively cognitive, he's nonverbal, um, he he's definitely has a lot of mobility issues. Um, we work on strength building. You go right, all your muscles, come on, all your muscles. Yeah, dude, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Uh -oh. <laughs> But the other thing we do Good for job. young Michael is he has a talking device. You might have seen a lot of individuals on the spectrum who, who use this device. Michael hates his device. He refuses to use it. Uh, but here it's a requirement. So we integrate that into the process. Can I go for a ride? Yep. Push your gas. Easy. Easy. Good job. Straight. Look straight. I don't care whether it's teaching a kid to read or teaching, inspiring someone to use their right arm that they've never used in their life. Um, we develop ways and strategies to accomplish that. Good. Big left, big left, all your muscles, left, 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 all your muscles. It's, it's just something you, you can't put into words when you see uh, both the individual experience, something like that, but the parents too. I mean, some of them, a lot of times my favorite part is to look back at the parents as something amazing has happened and just see the joy in their life. All done? Hello. Can I, can I go for a ride? Another one? <laughs> all right, we'll go one more ride. Good job. Maybe. Turn left. Left. Hard, hard, hard. Left.